friends how are you all have you studied the first part of the lesson have you practiced drawing the figures hope you have all understood and i hope you have done the homeworks also let us remember what we have learned in the last video in the last video we have learned how to draw a triangle having the same area of another triangle we have also learned all triangles with the same base and area have the third vertices on a line parallel to the base conversely all triangles with the same base and the third vertex on a line parallel to the base have the same area you may have done your homeworks let us check the answers this was the first problem in the picture below the lines parallel to each side of the blue triangle through the opposite vertex are drawn to make the big triangle how many triangles in the picture have the same area as that of the blue triangle how many of them have the same measure of the blue triangle here it's given that this line is parallel to this line and this line is parallel to this line and the third line is parallel to this line now let us check let me take the triangle you can see the blue triangle observe the two pink triangles the bases are same all these three triangles have the same base and where is the third vertices they are on a line parallel to the base it is given that this line is parallel to this side so all these three triangles have same area so now we got two triangles having the same area of the blue triangle now instead of taking this side let me take this side here again we get two triangles having the same area of the blue triangle because they have the same base and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base now let me take the third side so i can draw the figure like this here again the green triangles have the same area of the blue triangle because they have the same base and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base so now we got six triangles having the same area of the blue triangle now look at the triangles do they have the same measurements of the blue triangle no even though the bases are same other sides are not equal so the measurements of these triangles are different from the measurements of the blue triangle now look at the same figure once again look at this part there is a quadrilateral what type of a quadrilateral is it we know these are a pair of parallel lines and these are another pair of parallel lines so this is a parallelogram and this is a diagonal which divides the parallelogram into two triangles and we have studied in a standard that these two triangles are equal so they have same area and one more thing their measurements are also equal you can see this side is common these two sides are equal these two sides are also equal not only that the two triangles are equal so all the measurements are equal in the same way you can see another parallelogram so these two triangles are also equal so they have the same area and they have the same measurements you can see one more such parallelogram these two triangles are equal so the measurements are equal and they have same area so now we have seen that there are all together nine triangles having the same area of the blue triangle but only three of them have the same measurements of the given blue triangle now the next problem 
Prove that the two triangles shown below have the same area. Let me draw the second triangle at first. The base is 4 cm. Let me draw a line of length 4 cm at first. And angle at one end is 130 degree. And take 3 cm and draw another line. Now join the ends to get the required triangle. This is our second triangle. Now look at the first triangle. It has the same base. So let me take this 4 cm side as the base and draw the first triangle. Take 50 degree at one end and draw a line of length 3 cm and join these two points. We get the first triangle. When you look at the question, you can see the triangle is just flipped. 50 degrees on this side and 3 cm is on this side. I just flip the triangle so that the angle and side is on the other side. Now look at these angles. This is 130 degree, this is 50 degree. The sum is 180. Means they are a pair of co-interior angles. Therefore, these two lines are parallel and their lengths are same. Therefore, when you join a line like this, that is parallel to this line. Now look at the two triangles. They have same base and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base. So they have equal area. In the last video we have learned how to draw a triangle having the same area of another triangle. Today let us learn how to draw a triangle having the same area of a quadrilateral. You know how to find the area of a square, rectangle, trapezium, parallelogram extra. How can you find the area of an ordinary quadrilateral? That is a quadrilateral without any special properties. We only think that there are four sides. A quadrilateral like this. We can draw a diagonal and divide the quadrilateral into two triangles. Now we can find the area of these two triangles and add it together to get the area of the quadrilateral. There is another way also. Suppose we can bring down the top right vertex of this green triangle to the base of the quadrilateral. Then we will get a large triangle. Then it is enough to find the area of that large triangle. Some of you haven't understood. Right? Let us see. You can see a quadrilateral here and the area of this quadrilateral is 30.52. Now let me take this vertex and let me bring down that vertex to the base of the quadrilateral. Just like this. See the vertex is moving downwards to the base. Now the quadrilateral is made into a triangle and the area remains unchanged. You can see the area is again 30.52. How can we do this? Now let us take a quadrilateral and draw a triangle having the same area of that quadrilateral. Let me draw a quadrilateral at first. Now I have to draw a triangle having the same area of this quadrilateral. First of all, let me draw one diagonal so that I get two triangles. Now the quadrilateral is made into two triangles like this. Now take the green triangle. I have to draw a triangle having the same area of this green triangle and it should match the first triangle to form a big triangle. You know how to draw a triangle having the same area of a given triangle. Let us take C square and ruler to draw the parallel line. Shift the C square to the top vertex and draw a line through the third vertex. Now join the 
ends of the base to any point on this line, we will get a triangle having the same area of this green triangle. But we need a triangle which should match this triangle to form a big triangle. For that, let me extend the base of the quadrilateral. Now let me join the ends of the base of this green triangle to this point. So now I got this blue triangle and we know the area of this triangle is equal to the area of the green triangle as they have same base and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base. Now these two triangles join together to form a big triangle. So just like this we can draw a triangle having the same area of a quadrilateral. Using the idea again and again we can draw triangles having the same area of other polygons also. Let us see how to draw a triangle having the same area of a pentagon. Now we have to draw a triangle having the same area of this pentagon. For that let me divide this into triangles. How can I do that? Draw diagonals like this. Now the pentagon is divided into three triangles. Keep the middle triangle as it is and convert the other two triangles to form a big triangle without changing the area. How can we do that? We know how to draw a triangle having the same area of another triangle. So let us draw a triangle having the same area of this green triangle in such a way that that triangle should match this triangle to form a big triangle. Let me place this square on the base like this and keep the ruler like this. Now shift the square through the ruler until it reaches the third vertex. Now draw a line through the third vertex that will be parallel to the base. Now take a point anywhere on this line and join that to the base of this triangle we get a triangle having the same area of this green triangle. But we need a triangle which should match this triangle to form a big triangle. So let me extend the base to meet the parallel line and join that point to the ends of the base of the green triangle. Now this blue triangle has the same area of the green triangle as their bases are same and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base. Let us do the same thing for the second triangle also. You know how to draw a line parallel to the base. Now shift the C square. Now draw the line through the third vertex. Now extend the base and join the ends of the base to this point. Now this blue triangle has the same area of this green triangle as the bases are same and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base. So we got a large triangle joining the three triangles like this. And this triangle has the same area of the pentagon. Now let us do some problems from page number 15 and 16 of your textbook. First problem, draw the two quadrilaterals shown below in your notebook. Draw triangles of the same area and calculate the areas. First of all, we have to draw the quadrilateral. One side is 5 cm, so let me draw a line of length 5 cm at first. And at the left end, the angle is 80 degree. Take 80 degree and draw a line. Then take 3 cm as the second side is 3 cm. Now take 120 degree at the end 
and draw a line and on that line take 4 cm. So these are the measurements given. Now join the last end to the first end to get the quadrilateral. Now we have to make a triangle having the same area of this quadrilateral. For that let me draw a diagonal at first. Now the quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. Let me take the green triangle and convert it into another triangle of the same area so that it joined together with the first triangle makes a big triangle. For that let me draw a line parallel to the base. Let me take the scale and say square. Place it like this. Now shift this square to the opposite vertex. Now extend the base to meet it at this line. Now join the intersecting point to the ends of the base. Now this blue triangle has the same area of this green triangle and these two triangles join together form a big triangle. Now we have to find the area of this triangle. How can we find the area of a triangle? Half into B into H. What is B here? This is the base. And what is the total length? 5 plus 5.85. That is 10.85 cm. Let me take it as 10.9. Approximate it to one digit. So we can write it as 10.9. Now we need H. H is the distance from this vertex to the base. You can draw the perpendicular and you can measure. It is approximately 2.96 cm. We can take it as 3. So the area is half into BH. That is half into 10.9 into 3. 10.9 into 3 is 32.7. So we can write it as half into 32.7. And half of 32.7 is 16.35. So the area of this triangle is 16.35 cm square. Therefore the area of the quadrilateral is also 16.35 cm square. When you measure there may be slight difference. So you may get the area from 15.66 cm square to 16.35 cm square. So if you didn't get this answer means don't worry. Approximately we can take the area as 16 cm square. So if it is from 15.66 to 16.35 your answer is right. Now the second part one side is 8.5 cm. So let me draw a line of length 8.5 cm at first. And another side adjacent to it is 6 cm. Taking 6 cm in the compass we can draw an arc. Now the other side from the other end is 7.5 cm. Taking 7.5 in the compass you can draw another arc. Mark the point of intersection. Join that to the ends of the baseline. Now from this vertex the distance is 5 cm. Taking 5 cm draw an arc and from this vertex the length is 4.5 cm. Taking 4.5 cm you can draw an arc from this vertex. Mark the point of intersection. Join it like this to get the required quadrilateral. Now we have to draw a triangle having the same area of this quadrilateral. The diagonal makes the quadrilateral into two triangles. Let me take the triangle at the top. I am going to draw a triangle having the same area of that triangle. Take our square and ruler. Place it like this. Shift it till it get the top vertex. Now draw a line through the vertex. Extend the base to meet at this line. Now join the intersecting point to the end of the diagonal. This green triangle has the same area of the blue triangle. And these two triangles join to form a big triangle. Now we have to find the area. 
Here B is 8.5 plus 4.2 that is 12.7. Now let us draw the perpendicular from this vertex to the base. It is approximately 5.2 cm. So area is half into BH that is half into 12.7 into 5.2. Half into 5.2 is 2.6. So we can write it as 12.7 into 2.6 and multiplying we will get 33.02 cm square. So the area of this triangle, this big triangle is 33.02 cm square and therefore the area of the quadrilateral is 33.02 cm square. As in the previous case, when you measure, there may be slight difference and you can get the area from 32.38 to 33.28. If you got the area in between 32.38 and 33.28, your answer is right. Approximately, we can take the area as 33 centimeter square. Now the second problem, draw a rhombus of side 6 cm and one angle 60 degree. Then draw a right triangle of the same area. We have to draw a rhombus of side 6 cm and one angle 60 degree. Let me draw a line of length 6 cm at first. Take 60 degree at one end, draw a line and then take 6 cm on that line. Now the other sides are also 6 cm. Taking 6 cm in the compass, draw an arc from this end and again from this end. Mark the point of intersection. Join that like this to get the required rhombus. Now we have to draw a triangle having the same area of this rhombus. For that let me draw a diagonal. Now the rhombus is made into two triangles. Take the green triangle and draw a triangle having the same area of this triangle. For that let us take a square and ruler and draw a line parallel to the diagonal through this vertex. Shift the triangle till it reaches the third vertex. Now draw a line through the third vertex. Extend the base to meet it at this line. Join the point of intersection to the ends of the diagonal to get the triangle. The blue triangle has the same area of the green triangle and therefore the area of this big triangle is equal to the area of the rhombus. Now let us look at this big triangle, the triangle obtained by joining the yellow and blue triangle. Now look at this yellow triangle. This angle is 60. So what is the sum of these two angles? 120, right? Now these two sides are equal. Therefore these two angles are also equal. So how much is each angle? 60 and 60. Now these two lines are parallel. Therefore these two angles are also equal. Since this angle is 60 degree, this is also 60 degree. Now look at this quadrilateral. These two are opposite sides and they are parallel. These two are also parallel. So it is a parallelogram. And the diagonal divides every parallelogram into two equal triangles. So these angles are equal. Since the total angle is 60 degree, each of these angles are 30 degree. Now look at the large triangle formed by joining the yellow and blue triangles. This angle is 30 degree, this angle is 60 degree, therefore this angle is 90 degree. That means it is a right angle triangle. So what we have drawn is a right angle triangle having the same area of the given rhombus. Let us remember what we have learned today. Today we have learned how to draw a triangle having the same area of a 
quadrilateral. Now let me give you two home assignments from page number 15 of your textbook. This problem is the third problem. Try a regular pentagon and then a triangle of the same area. Calculate the area. How can you draw a regular pentagon? Each angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degree. You can take any side and take 108 degree and draw a regular pentagon. Then convert that into a triangle and using the base and height you can find the area. The next problem, the picture shows a rectangle divided into two parts. Instead of the broken line separating these parts, draw a straight line to divide the rectangle into two other parts of the same area. Calculate the areas of these parts. Hope you have all understood. Do the homeworks. Study well. Study regularly. If you want to learn mathematics well, you have to learn at regular intervals. Practice well. For this chapter, you have to draw the figures and you have to understand the ideas well. Let me know your comments and suggestions. Stay safe. I'll be back with another video. Till then, bye.